Oh, craps. The Earth has rolled two double sixes. We're talking about earthquakes. And I'm talking about New Zealand and Vanuatu. Plus, we're seeing a decent amount of activity up in Alaska along the Aleutian Island Dragon Tail chain and a bit of activity in the West USA plus Puerto Rico and then this one down here. And we got a giant freaking sinkhole that opened up outside of an Italian hospital. Thank you, Wonder Woman, for bringing this to our attention. We're talking about a huge sinkhole, 22,000 square feet across and 66 feet deep swallowed several cars and forced the evacuation of a COVID ward. So that's definitely crazy. And yes, thanks for asking. Italy's volcano Mount Etna did have a volcanic ash advisory on the 6th after an eruption. Oh, I can feel it. Some of you out there are like, hey, tell me about the snow. And I aim to please. So we've got parts of the east, southeast specifically. We're talking like Bellwood, Lincolnton, Stanley, and even Kings Mountain getting some snow. Well, people south of that are getting some rain. Speaking of rain, pack northwest, you guys are going to continue to get slammed with storms. So be ready. And in my opinion, this thing is really visually impressive. Kind of like you, baby. Kind of like you. The satellite images are always so impressive and expressive. I'm down today. Hopefully you are up. I don't know. Everybody being negative all the time gets to me sometimes. Look at this giant heat streak moving through over the Mexico. And there, volcanoes have been active. Popocatépetl has definitely been active. And then you got Chile. Earthquake and volcano watches in place, Thor New Style. Yeah, I got weird Jedi senses that we will be on earthquake alert for all of January. It's called a hunch. Plus, all the gas giants are still on the same side. That's an impressive situation unfolding cloud-wise. And we're not seeing the classic black mark that we're looking at. But if you look at this dryness and heat signature that extends from Mexico across the Pacific, well past Hawaii, that's pretty impressive. And I would definitely be watching this area for possible earthquake activity. All right. But you want to hear about the snow. But this thing will continue to move east. And it'll make parts more beautiful because snow is neat. And then on Sunday, we're going to get a Texas snow day. Well, I guess maybe Monday. Um, and it is going to dip down as far as like Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington, Mansfield, Burleson. And will it get maybe even like Friendswood or the Woodlands? Who knows? I'm hoping it dips souther to Houston. But I'll have to keep praying. But this is going to be an interesting storm. So I'll continue to monitor it for you guys. But yeah, dude, um, it's probably going to be a high impact storm for large parts of Texas. And as much as I love my state, we're not that great at driving in rain. And we're definitely not that great at driving in snow and ice. Spain is still getting pounded by snow. They could get up to three feet. And it doesn't look like they're that good at driving in snow either. Because this looks like traffic and it's all one way. Everybody's going one direction. That's crazy. Hey, look, big cork blocking high. What? See, yeah, we're talking Sunday snow for Lubbock, Abilene, Waco, Dallas. But it's just going to miss Houston by 100 or 200 miles. This graph was brought to us by Chris Sushin. Volcano Discovery letting us know the Maripai volcano in Java, Indonesia as incandescent avalanches continuing. So, in stellar news, Beetlejuice is starting to cheer up, so that is good news. Man, stars are so weird. And moody. But wait, there's more. You could be getting snow in New Mexico, Colorado, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Arkansas, 
Alabama, and Mississippi up into Tennessee and Kentucky. Seriously, though, why has everybody got to fight about everything all the time? Make America fun again. Hawaii's Kilauea volcano still has lava in its pit. Report came out says that the USA was struck by an unprecedented amount of billion dollar disasters in 2020. Talking about Hurricane Isaiah, the Midwest Dercho, California fires, Hurricane Laura, and I covered them all for you. But wait, there's more. Pacaya volcano in Guatemala has new lava flows, a series of strong explosions, effusive explosive eruption of the volcano has been increasing during the past days confirmed by Anisofishuwa Volcano Observatory. The stall the stalwart wondering, did they find an asteroid filled with silver? I'm like, yeah, they've been doing that shit since like 2013, 2014, 2015, and they're getting better at it. Sara Husio letting us know there's still a shot of the first filament eruption, CME, that left the sun around the 3Z, showing on the stereo. Click, click, boom, baby. Click, click, boom. And remember, to me, calling something Grand Solar Minimum, Grand Solar Maximum is a major oversimplification of how complex the sun is. You've got, like, filaments, coronal holes, coronal, you know, there's so many things. Solar gremlins. I don't know. I just always, I think there's so much the sun we don't understand. And we should start paying more attention to it. Sarah Husiel, the southwest quadrant of the sun, has now produced two filament eruptions today around the 3Z and 13Z, subsequently appearing to have produced coronal mass ejections. Both are showing loud and clear on STO. AI-8304. So yeah, there's no grand minimum of solar activity. Man, the sun has been very active over the last few months, and we're still probably like four years away from getting to the max of solar maximum. So that's interesting. More than 50,000 people evacuated their homes as heavy rain caused flooding across parts of Malaysia today. And the flooding was very bad. Yeah, HF Solar, talking about possibly one of the largest filament detachments of Solar Cycle 25 this far has happened over the course of 10 hours. It is huge. That is what she said. Also, huge is the prominence on the limb. She said you had two major filament tear-offs in a 10-hour span. So, the sun continues to get more interesting, and that is exciting. So yeah, Alaska home to earthquakes and volcanoes has been getting hotter, hottest up here, down here, from 1991 to 2020. And Alaska, you know, has had active volcanoes during that region in time, for sure. I just meant to say time, not region. Sorry about that. But yeah, we'll see how wild and weird the weather will be in 2021. I imagine it's going to be crazy, and I think earthquakes and volcanoes will play, play a large part in that. Our post-9-11 natural and just whatever disaster response hasn't really gotten that great over the last 20-something years. But that is my opinion. Ooh, Aurora. They go, and they're gone. Somebody cheer me up. It's weird when I woke up this morning. You ever wake up and you have a song? in your head this morning i had hallelujah hallelujah my head and well i'm glad that you know as crazy as the last month has been at least i've been able to do my work and get my work out i haven't been able to find the focus and concentration to make those super duper amazing edited videos but hopefully i will be able to one day but yeah, things have just been crazy all over for everybody. Hey, check out these acquired images of the lava lake inside Halumama crater within Kiluiwiwa caldera of the island of Hawaii. These images show a day and night pass of lava and subsequent heat in the caldera. But wait, 
there's more volcano activity to report to you. The Luotolo volcano is also erupting with explosive activity ongoing at the summit. And I think this is Public Tapel. This is uh, the city of Puebla, Mexico. So yeah, the volcano activity continues. This is impressive activity. And we'll continue to see it with all the gas giants, meaning Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, on the same side of the sun. All right, so stay cool. And cheer me up if you can. I'll continue to bring you guys information. This is what I do. I love you. Stay cool. God bless everyone.